I was, at that time, I, I believe I was working at a recycling truck behind a grocery store. Okay. And so did, did you recycling can. quit that and say, okay, I'm a comics guy now? I did. I sold oh. my car uh -huh. and had enough money from that to pay the rent for a couple of months. Uh -huh. And then I got that first job and it was more money than I'd seen in my entire life for one comic book issue, which is actually a really low rate for what they pay today. But at the time I was like excited and I paid off all my debts, paid the rent and I had enough saved up from that to get me through the next few months. And there was no calls for three months. So I had to go back to driving a truck and, and that's what I did after that. Uh -huh. And, and uh, so when, when did the next batch of work come? The next back, batch of work came probably about a month after I started driving a truck again. I got a job that I didn't know was coming. An editor had called me and said, would you like to do this short 10-page story in an anthology that we're doing? It was also for DC. I said, yeah, you know, I'd love to do it. And then I, I said, just let me know when and what and all that's all the details. And he said, okay, we'll let you know. I didn't hear from him for two weeks, and then I got home from driving the truck at the end of the work day. One day afternoon, there was a FedEx box sitting on my doorstep with a script and pages in it, and it was due in a week. <laughs> Pencils and inks. I didn't even know it was coming. <laughs> so I did it. I got it done. And, uh, uh, yeah, but I had to keep my day job. I couldn't quit on that one because it, it had been too hard for the three months without work. So got through that one, and then when the next one came along, then I, then I was able to quit the day job. And that, that came through Mick Gray, who was a, a local in the same city of San Jose where I, where I was. And uh, he had heard through the grapevine that I was local and young, and, and a friend told him, he, was, he said, he's good, we should ink him. And so he asked for me by name to this editor who was asking if he would ink some short stories. And that's how I got that job. And once I got that done, got through that, then it was a, a pretty steady stream of work after that. Yeah.